Here's a tip on how to use the Beats to Cue feature in Tractor Pro and Tractor Scratch Pro 2. This will really help beginner DJs uh, out with learning how to phrase their mixes correctly, as well as uh, it's good in a pinch when you want to know when to bring a song in. So first what you're going to want to do is open up the Preferences, go to the Transport tab, and right here under Beat Counter, make sure Bars per Phrase is set to zero bars. Next, you'll want to go into Track Deck section, and any space out of the nine spaces in the deck header, you want to make sure that Beats to Cue is selected. So I like having it in the, the middle top section, just so it get a nice big font is what I'm playing out. Now what the Beats to Cue feature does is it, it'll show you how many bars and beats are left between the current cue point where you're at and the next cue point. So let me give you a brief example. So I'm just going to go ahead and start from the first cue point. And you can notice, see that countdown from 8-4? Right there. Two more bars from right here. So, just from mashing on the cue point, if I'm loading up a song, I know I have eight bars between this intro and when the beat drops. So that's right here from cue point two to that breakdown. This becomes really handy when you think about dance music and how it's usually set up in groups of 8 to 16 bars, you'll know exactly where to cut in and where to cut out songs. Alright, hope this helps guys. Later.